Howdy peeps, welcome back to The Walking Dead. We killed Reggie, that's the only explanation I have. Reggie didn't kill Reggie, Carver didn't kill Reggie. Clementine's decision killed Reggie. Nah, fuck it, Carver killed him. Not my fault. <laughs> oh, hey. So, they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple, just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. Gone. What's wrong? Tell her. Clem? You alright? Reggie. Reggie's dead. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Yeah. Accident. <laughs> My ass. Go on. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. I need to go find out what happened. Ugh. Hey, Troy. Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. So what have they got? Like a little rat run type kind of... Uh... Hey, that ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. Okay, see. So... Wow, it looks a bit rickety. And I hear a walker on the other side. That's not good. I honestly thought that if I chose to help Sarah do that plant picking job, that I would get the punishment. That just goes to show how telltale of fucking... I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? You sure? Or did you... <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> shit! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. It's Dizzy Rascal again. <laughs> Go on, Clem. Hit him. Harder. Fucking have him. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! Woo! Yeah, I'm holding left. I'm holding. Ah, oh, shit! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Come on, Clem. A bash. I'm on. What? Zombie killer of the week? No. <laughs> Woo! Pick up the sledgehammer. Yes. Oh, you're too weak. Shit. Oh god. Down! 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 Uh, uh, get. Ah! God damn it! Get out! It won't let me! It won't let me! Can he? Can he? Why won't it happen? Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Thanks. <laughs> oh, thank God. You're okay. All right. Enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now. Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip. Poor old Clem. They're gonna get through that. <laughs> Anything around that I can pick up? Who's that pony? Ah, ah, stop! Hey, it's me. Luke. 
Yes. Man. <laughs> hell out of me. Hey, Luke. Heck, you drew blood. Come all this way. This is this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. No, it's good to see you too, kid. So, all right. Listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. It's not passing, is it? It's coming yeah, straight I'm for us. I'm talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry. I just could use some sleep, you know. Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. Can he rest it up somewhere? Seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but... Well, we're in it now. It's what we got. We just... We just need a plan. You no know, way to get you and, and everyone. You're gonna fall asleep, aren't you? Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Okay, I'll get you one. Yeah, you will. Thank Come you. on, Clem. I'm so glad I can count on you. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... <gasps> oh, shit. Go on. Get out of here. Luke, man, you need sleep. You, you're going to fucking pass out right there. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was hiding from walkers. Don't go in there, you hear me? That is off fucking limits to you. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there. Oh, God damn it. Go here. Do that. Do this. Go and see that person. Go and do that. Kill Reggie. <laughs> Just can't catch a break. Who's this dude with the beard? He looks familiar. Yeah, him. Dude, you better go up and see Bill. He doesn't like to wait. Dude. So you should probably go. Is he from 400 Days? One of the two dudes that were in the car. Is that him? I can't remember his name. Looks like it. Rebecca. She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. I so hope it's not his kid. Then you will fucking be pissed, mate. <laughs> you make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. You have to be able to contribute. Uh, I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is... Part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I yeah. wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock, to keep them safe. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I know. 
I have to do everything for them. It's exhausting. Of course it is. But that's the role you're meant to play. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. All right, now. Well, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. Hurrah! Food. I don't know if you noticed, but I was kind of playing along with his kind of charm and wit. Making him think that I'm on his side so that when the time comes, he ain't going to know what hit him. Clementine, oh, she is gonna, oh, she's going to be so freaking awesome. He's not going to see it coming. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much. <laughs> I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he'd talk to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Ooh. Troy's always standing next to one of them. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. <laughs> Why don't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. <sighs> yes, we can. We can do both. That's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Eh. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. <laughs> I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Hi. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. I've done it too. What? Yeah. It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. 
Oh, good one, Lee. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Let's get that Lee. stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that too. Come on. You are ice. Gonna need your help. Yeah, tag team. She's my new friend. <laughs> Where the hell did she come from? Clearly, she has issues with Carver. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing nice. breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. Yeah. That's my girl. Oh we yeah. Gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. Come on, kid. Okay. Don't let go. I got you. Oh! <laughs> cool. It's kind of... We're moving along quite nicely now. We've got... Oh, we've got two plans. Get Luca radio. And then cause some stupid noises and get the herd of walkers to come and crush this place so we can sneak out, maybe? But with zombie guts all over us. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> that line... Was it Rebecca said, uh, unless you've got a megaphone in your pocket, there's only one mega thing that Kenny's got in his pocket, and it ain't a megaphone. <laughs> Timing not great, but <laughs> it got there. <laughs> right, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Hope you liked it. See you in the next one. So until then, ciao for now.